All right, welcome to this episode of uh, Hypnotist Bernice Exposition. Joining us tonight is Katie. How are you doing? Good yourself. Doing good, doing good. How us a little, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from. Oh, my name is Katie Rain, and I am from Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. Um, is that where you're born, or do you move? I was, uh, I kind of traveled everywhere. Okay. Um, I would say primarily Rhode Island. I lived in Boston for a while. Okay. So, yeah, it's primarily... Um, North Kingstown, West Warwick, and uh, now I live in Providence. So yeah. okay, what do you think is the biggest difference between Providence and, uh, and Boston? Oh, I definitely think that um, Providence is more uh, like secluded and, and or, like well, no, it's like close together. Oh, yeah. I think that Boston is nice and spread out, you know, and it's more more open so i think oh, yeah. I, I i prefer boston personally but that's just me but it's you know? easier to get around in providence don't you think oh yeah definitely okay. yeah absolutely do, do you hang out at that big mall that new the province place yeah, yeah. oh yeah for years oh, yeah. yeah definitely is, yeah. is that is that a big thing down there do uh, all the teenagers go there yeah, yeah. oh yeah or they hang at the water fire oh, right. oh know, yeah that's true water yeah, yeah. Fire. i remember that how long have that been going on um, that's been going on for oh. at least decades that yeah, I can probably remember. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you do you, do you, do you go there? Or did the locals go there? I do, I can say that I haven't been, but the locals definitely do hang at the a lot of the um oh, yeah. you know the college students and everything hang around the water fire and there's a lot of are, events. Are they still doing that? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. There's always there's always stuff going around over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. The mm -hmm. provenance is nice, like very authentic. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, close to the casinos. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. Do you, do you go, like, think, uh, I hate to admit that, but, uh, you know, I went through a phase where I was the gambling uh, sports, which is legal now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I have to take the, the train to Providence and then... Are you going to Foxwoods? No, uh, Twin River. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. the Lincoln. Yep. Yeah. I, a lot of them. I, I go there all the time. I pass by it. So okay. I mean, yeah. Transportation's good there. Yeah. So that's my familiarity with Providence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you win? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I could do a whole other show on that. Well, it wasn't <laughs> that, it wasn't, it was easy betting football a few years ago, just bet on the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little harder these days. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, just a few years ago, um, yeah, since Brady left, I haven't been, been betting at all. Mm -hmm. I would just want the easy win, you know, like, yeah. But then there's another topic for another time. Um, so what would you like to work on today with uh, hypnosis? Well, I've always been fascinated by hypnosis. Um, I've always had, you know, a, a personal, um, a couple of habits, you know, I would say primarily drinking. So okay. I have no issues being open about it. You know, I've been okay. very honest about that sort of thing. And I think... I've been I've been told it's a very good idea to try hypnosis for that, and so oh, yeah. I guess we'll find out today how well it works. Tell us a bit uh, about your uh, your alcohol habits. It's been ongoing for years. Okay. You know, I mean, especially as a musician, you know, it's one of those things that um, you know, for some people, it's hard to talk about. But I can be honest that. Okay. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of downfalls because of it. You know, I have performed a lot of shows. You know, I started playing at bars when I was 14 years old. So, oh, wow. You know, it's like, uh, you know, when you're surrounded by those sort of things, you tend to you gravitate towards what's around you. And um, I could definitely say that I, I might have liked it a little too much. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so definitely... Um, you know, it's 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 it goes up and down. You know what I mean. So you know, I, I always thought um, the more the more mentally you can work on it, you know, there's I guess there's hope. You know, that was a story. Um. um so at, at what point do you feel that um, you want to change? 
I could say after many, many bad times and many, okay. yeah, many uh, misfortunes, one was losing my license, you know, with, okay. with nobody getting hurt, of course, but just, okay. you know, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, I used to want to live in my van and um, now it's kind of funny because I switched roles. I wanted to live in a van and okay. not, you know, have that road life, but it doesn't work that way. So oh, now, yeah. I'm, now I'm in the city in an apartment. Um, so it's kind of like I switched, I reversed roles and, um, I mean, I like it this way. I do feel safer, but in the okay. long run, no matter what, you still have to, um, overcome your addictions. And I think that's definitely been a thing for me. So what is, what was it like living in a van? It was weird. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It, okay. it was too much fun. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, on YouTube, there's this whole subculture of people yeah. living in a van. Mm-hmm. And and you you actually did it, you know. A mm-hmm. lot of people just they spend all the money modifying the van, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they go on camping, and then they come back. Oh my god, you know. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so tell us a story. What what's like the the craziest story you had on a van living in a van? Well, let's see. I had a bearskin rug in the back of my van. I thought that was a oh, cool yeah. novelty piece, and I bragged nice. about it. You know, like a um, real bearskin. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. You know, so I, I can definitely say I've I've woken up in a couple of parking lots. Okay. Going, oh wow, okay, what happened here? You oh, know, wow. yeah. so definitely not a safe way to go living. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know? Do you do you not feel safe? Um, like like as in like intruder unsafe. I think it's it's not only a matter of that, but it's also, of course, a matter of other people being safe. Because I was, you know, I drove a little recklessly, and okay. um, that's how things happen. But um, just the lifestyle itself was definitely okay. reckless. <laughs> w- would you just stay around New England, or did you drive like far? I wanted to drive far, but I think I, I didn't get to that point. The dream died before it could begin. Okay. <laughs> so that's what happened, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Um, so going back to what you want to work on tonight yeah. uh, with hypnosis. Um, uh, so so you are okay for, for now, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I struggle. I've been struggling with it for so long that I think that no matter what, the more I can push myself to the right okay. direction mentally and and with the right people right. like yourself. Right. Um, I'm very glad to be here, of course. So thank you. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I want just to thank figured, you for coming. You know, a lot you. of people are watching this show and and. <laughs> You know, they're still walking through it. I don't want to say struggle. Some people are struggle, but most, I guess, like most people are just working through it. Um, and, and you are showing them that, you know, it can be done. And, and they're, they're looking at you for inspiration to continue with it. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the goal. And I think that, you know, again, um, I, I actually really like that's why. You know, hypnosis, yeah, I've, right. I've had some people say that that's something you might want to try. So, right. so you know, let's see what we can do. Um, so at what point did you feel that you needed to change? Um, I would say there was too many. There was too many points. Pick one. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Just share with us. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, uh, um, the people who are watching and, and you know, they, they're looking at us and... and yeah, um, at what point did I want to change? Definitely when my life went super downhill. Okay. To where I had no no car, no, like that was supposed to be my home, and I lost that, you okay. know. So, you know, when when I lost my plan there, which, you know, I guess it wasn't the best plan when you, you know, you have a, a drinking problem. So um, that's definitely where it came, you know, when it came to that time. Right. You know, okay. Absolutely. And, and and what did you do to, and what steps were you taking to overcome this challenge? I guess I did what I had to do, you okay. know, which was obviously I, I couldn't drink. And um, it was definitely, it was, it was different because, um, you know, every day I relied on it so heavily. So, 
you know, being a, like a year without it was amazing, actually, just to, oh, wow. to tell myself, like, you know, this is how long that we can actually do this. I never thought I could be sober for a year. So okay. I find that really amazing. And the more the more I got to that point, the better I felt as a whole. And, and how, how does your body feel differently now that you haven't drank for, for like a year? Way, way different. I mean, okay. I lost like 50 pounds. And, oh, really? um, that's why I got back and, uh, you know, my the modeling gigs or whatever, just, just for um, empowerment and right. um, self-esteem. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been really awakening for me, definitely. Oh, wow. That's great. And moving forward, okay, so if, if hypnosis were to work out perfectly, uh, how would you see yourself change from today into tomorrow? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Um, I I guess uh, I'm I'm so curious to know. Um, I I definitely think that it's just gonna it's just gonna push me forward even more. I think you know okay. just to have that to have that extra push. You know, visualize. More... Tell, tell us tell us what it is like. Then. I feel like I, you know, hopefully I can wake up and just not even think about it, you know, that would okay. be amazing, just not to even think about the negatives of my past, you know, that even we're surrounded by the drinking, hopefully, like everything can just kind of move. What bothers me. you more, your perception of your past or the drinking? I think the past hurts the most because of the way okay. you're perceived, you know, and the, the people that don't understand it, you know, okay. and they judge you and... You know, I understand a lot of things, but also it's like, I know that I got hurt more than anybody in okay. the end. So that's that's the part that hurts the most, is that people don't see it that way, you know. So definitely would love to see going forward a positive change in my life. Do you well. feel that it is more important to to work on your past, to, to accept your past than actual drinking itself? I do. In fact, that's a great question. I, I really, I haven't accepted that yet. So that's another good, you know, thing for me, um, is just being able to accept, you know, accept, but also put it behind me, I guess. I don't know. It's, that's a, that's a tough call because to, to dwell on the past hurts and, and it, you know, kind of makes me want to drink when, you know, when those reminders come up, oh, this and that, and, you know, you did me wrong, that sort of thing. It's like, you know, a lot of people don't really understand, you know. So I, I would like to definitely let all that stuff behind me if I can. And and how often do you find, first of all, do you find that um, disabling, the, the thoughts about your past? Yes, 100% disabling. In fact, so much more than I can't even believe that it takes control over me. Right. Absolutely disabling. And how often does this come? Do you find yourself being disabled by these? I feel honestly thoughts? more now, actually, more now than ever. And I don't okay. know why, because I've actually come so far. Right. Um, but I don't know if it's little things that creep up behind me, or this gets said, or that gets said. Like, I, I've already passed that when it was when it was really bad. It's just that I, I haven't let it go yet. Maybe just for that reason, I just really like to to move on from, from all the negatives and everything like that. Absolutely. And, yeah. uh, and, and I guess like we can move past the, the actual alcohol itself, right? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't, it sounds to me like you are comfortable physiologically at least to, you have moved on from. Yeah, from yeah. That, yeah. Exactly. And, and we're just, just, you know, trying to alleviate some of this baggage that you're holding on, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely something that that's, that still is here today. Absolutely. And and now we, we can just evolve the, the session a little bit. So moving forward, you know, if the session works perfectly tonight... And you wake up tomorrow happy and everything works out. How how would you what kind of difference would you would you feel? I would function and I would continue to do all the things that I've done from this point on 
that I'm proud of myself for. For example. And and I well just you know the surviving and and the the independence I'm starting to gain, the job I've I've gotten and and the money I've saved, um and just yeah the overall security I think. That stuff you have to have, but like I'll wake up and just actually not have that pain in my heart anymore, you know, of of just the, you know, the trauma. What do you mean by the pain in the heart? I think that the trauma, just the trauma of everything that happened, the misunderstandings, you know, the, the things that got said and everything like that, you know, absolutely. How does it feel though? It drains me. It hurts me every day, you know, I'm, I'm. I'm crying my eyes out, even though I know I've surpassed a lot of things and I've I've gotten away from a lot of stuff. That it really is hard, because like again, there's people that personally I don't think they were really in it for my benefit. They were in it right. for their benefit for me to be to be sober. Like maybe somebody I was working with in a band or something as a musician. Right. You know they they didn't want to see it through my eyes or maybe see the whole situation that happened. You right. know, or the some of the uh, people that saw me as vulnerable in these okay. situations by taking advantage of certain things. Okay. So that's really what I have not gotten over, you know, is that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so once again, going back to, to the question before, if we can have a magic wand and everything works out perfectly by tomorrow. In one sentence, how would you describe what you would feel throughout the day? Uh, I guess that's a great question. I, I guess hopefully hopefully I can move on so I wouldn't even think about what it. What does move <laughs> on look like? What does move on look like? It looks like a beautiful day where I can just really really go forward with my with my goals in life and um what would that be um to be to be in a, a happier secure place you know um, okay i mean i live in providence but just to really have a really secure home okay and um maybe to fall in love again you okay. know but not like i'm thinking about love just maybe to love myself as well right. as okay. you know i haven't been able to do that since all this so that's been really hard for me, you know. Do you think that is, you would feel a lot better? Oh, yeah. Uh, is it something that you could work on loving yourself? Yeah, exactly. To love right. myself and, and to to ignore any more negative right. disputes about me as a human being. Yeah. Right. All right. So what we're about to do is uh, hypnosis. I want you to just put your feet flat on the floor. Mm-hmm. Can you... Put your heel on the floor? Yeah. Okay. Now, I want you to look up into the light without tilting your head too much. Just move your eyes to see, find a spot. Can you see that red thing up there? Yes. All right. You can just focus on that red thing up there. All right. So, I want you to take a minute and just look at this pocket watch right here. Just look at his wings back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's between this pocket watch and that red spot up in the ceiling. I'm going to count backwards from 10 to 1. With each number I count, you'll find your eyelids getting heavier and heavier and heavier. At some point before I reach the number one, you'll find your eyelids become so heavy. Your body becomes so relaxed. And you feel natural for you to close your eyes even before I reach the number one. And as soon as I reach the number one, I want you to imagine yourself on a calm, quiet beach and you will feel the warm ray of the sun on the surface of your skin. Feel the warm ray of the sun against your nose, your cheek, your lips, even your hair. Every part of you feels so warm, relaxed, and comfortable. 
As I count backwards, 10, relax, let go. Feel like your eyelids getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Nine. Still visualizing yourself on a calm, quiet beach. And you can feel the warm ray of the sun again on your skin. And you can see the ocean waves caresses against the shore. So it's becoming so heavy, so relaxed now. Eight, seven, six. You can even hear the seagulls on top of your head. You can hear the sound of children playing far, far in the background. Seven, six, five. Relaxed now. Feeling so relaxed. The eyelids getting so heavy. Heavier and heavier and heavier. Five, four, three. Relax. Let go. Three, two, Relax, let go, and sleep now. Good. Just relax, let go, and sleep. Just relax, let go, and sleep. Then we're going to count backwards from 10 to 1 again. And you close your eyes. That's right. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax your shoulders. Just relax your body and feel the chair right now. That's right. Just begin to let go of all the tension. Let go of all the tension. That's right. Just relax your joints right Relax. Just let go. Let the right dish grow. Just hang in there. Loose, limp, and relax. Loose, limp, and relax. Loose, limp, and relax. That's right. Loose, limp, relax. Let yourself go and sleep. Put the count backwards from 10 to 1 again. For each number of count, you find yourself falling deeper and deeper into hypnosis. Feel your body sinking through the chair as if you're sinking all the way down. Through the chair onto the floor. Ten. Nine. So your body is getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Eight. Seven. Just feel your body sinking through the chair. All the way down. All the way down through the chair to the floor. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. All the way down. 
Yes, going deeper and deeper now. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Relax. Let go. Relax. Let go. And sleep. All the way down now. So deep. So relaxed. So comfortable. Just let yourself go completely now. Good. Good. Now, Katie, a minute ago we talked about how there are some pain that you're holding on in the past. There was something that you have done in the past that you would like to take back. Or that you're not so proud of. Something that everybody experienced that at some point. Everybody have experienced some action that they regret, some behavior that they would like to do over again. I want you to acknowledge that those are no longer a part of you. I want you to find those elements. That are hurting you, that are holding you back, that you are holding on, and it still hurts you. You don't have to consciously know what it is, but your body knows. I want you to just sit up straight. That's right. That's right. Just relax, breathe easily. Good. Good. I want you to scan your body, use your unconscious mind to scan your body and find all those unnecessary tension, stress and pain. I want you to just release them, let go, release them to the atmosphere right now. That's right. Release everything that you've been holding on about your past. They no longer serve you anymore. They may at some point in the past been beneficial to you for your survival, but this is the new you now. You no longer need to hold on to them. Give them gratitude and let go into the universe. Good. Now in place, I want you to feel this wave of energy flowing through from all the way from the top of your head, down behind your back, all the way through your spine, under your legs. This new KD energy that is full of life and that is full of energy. This new KD that is looking forward into all that she can accomplish in her life. Looking into the new you with security, ambition, Beauty, productiveness, good place to live, secure in yourself, full of life and confidence. And just feel this massive amount of energy flowing all the way from the universe into you, through your head, through your body, through your toes, continue on and on and on. And even long after we have departed. And you can always feel my voice and always feel my energy being with you whenever you need me there. All the time. Always keeping you company, keeping you safe, keeping you assured and secure. Good. Now I'm going to count from 1 to 5. When I return number 5, you come back to this room feeling great. Feeling like you've just left for the last 12 hours. Coming back, feeling great, feeling the new you, this new Katie. Look and feel difference. Full of life, energy, 
Good, amazing. One, two, three, four. Take a deep breath in. Good. Whenever you're ready, five. You can open your eyes. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It feels all right. That is all the time we have for tonight on CCTV. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank Hopefully, you. you can join us in the near future and uh, give us an update. All right. This is Hypnotist Bernie, TV, CCTV, Channel Nine, Cambridge. All right. We're after the show here with Katie. How are you doing? I'm feeling amazing. I feel. Um, rejuvenated. I definitely I feel a sense of, of serenity. Absolutely. That's great. Um, and peace. As you were not watching, the, you remember watching the pocket watch swinging back and forth? Yeah, and it is, it is um, you know, it kind of vaguely just drifted off into things, and I just felt all the, you know, descriptions of, you know, the suns and the rays, and, and um, just, just the enlightenment, really, and, and just transferring into my body, and I felt I felt amazing along the Did journey. Did you remember opening, opening your eyes briefly? Yes and no, yeah. Okay. It was, like a, it, was like a, it was definitely a trance. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And and did you feel? How do you feel as you were going into trance? I felt like I was taking all my pain and just giving it away, like I was taking all the sorrows and the the things that I've been trying to let go of, and I was just just letting it bleed out of me and just taking in the peace. You know, that's how I felt. I definitely felt like it was. I still feel it now. I feel yeah. I feel enlightened. Okay. Yeah, I feel airy in a way. Like I feel, I feel very empowered now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else was going through your mind that you can share? I think that I, I you know, I, it was. Um, I, I wasn't focusing so much on the negative. Like it was, it was just slowly drifting away from me. You know, like I, all the thoughts that we were talking about, I just, I honestly don't, I don't remember so much now. Like, it, it definitely got a hold of me for sure. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. And uh, is, is this what you have been expecting? Uh, I've never done this before, business, so I, I really do. I feel, I feel different. Yeah, it's, it's almost like some things I can't remember almost. It's a little weird. What do you mean you feel different? I, I feel, I don't know, I, I feel enlightened. I feel, I feel like I'm, like, I'm floating now, like, in a good way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess that's the, that's a good note to end the show. Yeah. Let's get this handshake in. All right. All right, thanks for coming. Thank you so and much. And hopefully you can join us uh, yeah, in a few absolutely. weeks. Yeah, definitely.